Hello and welcome to Trains and Viatic and for a second uh, update on Take Apart the Layout. So today will be a few clips and then a bit of talk as well. So I'll start off with the titles in a moment, then I'll talk through what I've got done this week. So for people who haven't seen the previous video, videos, the reason I'm packing up the layout is um, I'm just about to start my last year of university and when I finish university I don't know where but I'll be living. Uh, so I wanted to pack away for railway nice and calmly, spending a few weeks to do it to make sure I can get as much track as possible saved as many points as possible saved and so I know where everything is and uh, record everything as in having records of everything I have. So this week I have got quite a bit done. For the first area I have been removing over here which have now turned into a bit of a storage area. Then down there have been ripped up and um i had a few other bits done so let's go on to the first video which is me lifting the track in this area <laughs> So as you can see from that video, I actually managed to save a lot of track. And I got this watch of track, track and this handful of points. So that's a lot to save for my next layout, which I wasn't expecting to save. What I'll be doing on uh, Monday is showing you how to prep for track so that once it's lifted you can use it again as there's been a few little tricks I have done and also I'll give you advice on looking at a uh, second hand track things to which you can easily repair and things which mean don't even bother so uh, that's that area I have got a lot more track than I was expecting so for the next set of videos we'll be up that corner area as I'd taken that to pieces so let's go and watch those videos
So that area there have now been taken to pieces. And all the Metcalf models, apart from the one in that corner, have been patched away nicely. But you can see that the bridge, I was hoping to save it, but um, as it was just cardboard, when I started to lift the track, it was just falling to pieces. So unfortunately that section have gone and the track I couldn't use. But uh, that mean I have enough of project if I decide to have a bridge in the next layout. So the last job I have done is actually remove that area that's all gone. And most of that have been done on camera. So we're going to another um, speeded up bit where about you can see all that being taken out. And then I'll give you some advice from this project. So one of the biggest things so far have been removing uh, my light controllers which are the DigiKey DR4018s. These are good external controller and light controller. You'll notice I have actually left the cables in on both of these. That's so that when I put them back into use as my colour coding staying the same, I just need to reconnect them. But these will be mounted differently with screw terminals to connect the wire. So, as I know that it works like that, I don't see the point of taking it off. So, these have been saved. Unfortunately, the end have been much worse on track. So you can see that that's a gunner and it got bits uh, stuck on it. In Monday's video, I'll show you techniques for trying to remove it and how to get the most out of your track and best way to store it. So, I haven't quite got as much done as I was planning to, as it's taken a little bit longer. But, I've made the progress I wanted to for a week, as I've got things like my CCTV cameras. I don't think you have ever seen these on camera as they were installed before my channel started so you got the camera there with infrared then you've got your power in there and video out there one thing with cctv systems make sure to buy the correct arm definition camera for what you need as at one point i bought for wrong definition camera and it didn't work with the system as in a hd camera this is a 720 i think or it could even be worse than that so these will be used in for the next layout i am trying to save as much as i can but you can see i have lost a bit I could have lost a lot more 
and as I showed you, I got track and points which I wasn't expected to save. But one of my things I have found is where about it's just pinned. You just take a wallpaper scraper and it come out without any problems. So let's talk about what I'm planning to get done for this week. So I'll quickly pause and we can have a quick move about. So jobs for this week. I want to get up to this board out and get all along there out. I might even get that board there out. These cameras need to come down, but that's four screws and they're easy to disconnect like that. And like that, so that's a camera ready to be taken down. So removing the cameras is going to be done. One potential problem I got is my platforms. As they're nice and long and already built, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with them, but I want to save them for the next layout, but saying that I'll need them a bit wider, so I'll decide as I go along. So, Monday I'll be showing you what I have discovered with lifting for track, how to uh, make sure to save as much as you can, and what to do to what to look out for for track which isn't worth saving and how to prep it to go into storage as as you can see there's bits which are usable on this but when you compare it to this lot this look ready to go all i will need to do to this is wire for drops on and uh, hey presto that's ready to use so that's about it so monday is going to be best practices with lifting for track and then storing it then wednesday we've got my live stream when hopefully we'll finish that building and i i know that we're going to have a few less people in chat most probably because everyone's going back to work and school now so i understand but remember if you can't watch me live you can still see for chat and for um video afterwards and i enjoy having everyone there but if you can't make it you can't make it so this just leave me to see you thank you everyone who's been watching thank you for watching this video remember to do the like subscribe comment and all that stuff and i'll see you on monday at seven o'clock for of the next video. Thank you very much, Richard.